Welcome back, everybody. In this session, we will learn regular expressions. And regular expressions are very, very important. I think uh, you have heard of regular expressions, and we have used it once in a while, but we didn't learn regular expressions properly. And today, it's time to learn regular expressions properly. Yeah. Regular expression is a little programming language you may find almost in all programming language. You may find it in Java, PHP, Python, JavaScript, and almost in all programming language. So it's a programming language by itself. What's the importance of this? Actually, one, it's for validation. For instance, let me show you. Uh, I have this uh, testimonial and then I, I will show you in web development, we use it for validation purpose. Uh, it's uh, uh, hosted on a free uh, web server, so it takes some time. Another actually in data science, data analysis, machine learning, it can be used for data cleaning. In data science, 80% of the time, is actually spent by cleaning the data, preparing, pre-processing the data, making the data clean first before you use it for model. Uh, so yeah, to clean a data, you need regular expression. It allows you to clean the data. Maybe I may ask you uh, like, hey, I want you to find the number of words mm, that uh, Shakespeare used the most, or maybe the 10 most words that Shakespeare used in one of his novels. Maybe, maybe if I ask you the word love in his book, yeah? If I ask you to count the word love in the Shakespeare book, maybe it might be impossible by reading, right? Yeah, it's really a very little chance to get it right just by normal reading unless you use some script like regular expression that just count. And uh, the other, as I told you here, for instance, it's a form we programmers want users to put word, to put data in a way we want, not the way the users want, because the database has certain schema and it doesn't accept everything. So if I am just an annoying user, if I just say like this, if I just click for ever hundred times, if it doesn't have this validation by now, the database might be populated with empty data. So it actually, it helps also to protect some malicious users to, uh, yeah, to, to make them like, do things properly, to put data properly. As you can see, first an infill is required. And it says now, for instance, I just put that. And if I say, yeah, so, but maybe if I just put just one. Yeah, first name must be between two and this character. So as you can see, this has been achieved using regular expression, the regular expression uh, helped me to validate this uh, form form for form validation. Okay, that's the purpose. Now let's move into one website that allow us to learn. Uh, so what's the language? Python. As you can see, the way you write the regular expression in Python is uh, like this. I will show you. Uh, you write R, that means row, and inside here you can say whatever pattern. For instance, if I'm looking for love, I just write it like this, love. And then we may add actually here the, uh, the, the flags. And as you can see, the flags here, it could be G or M or I, okay? So how do we write? It could be G or it could be just, uh, M or I, something like that. I means actually case insensitive, G means global, and M means in multiple line, G, I together, global, and case insensitive. I will show you. 
here how it works. Okay, is there, for instance, uh, now let's see if I say uh, love, uh, and let me just remove this, the all the flags. Yeah, have you seen? I have just love, the word love, and I'm looking for, I'm looking, I am looking for love. Uh, love is very important and nothing is like love. Okay, have you seen how many times did I write love in this text? Please tell me. Yeah, three times, one, two, and three, yeah, great. So, uh, here, about how many times did I get the match? How many match did I get? One match, one match. So that means I didn't capture the rest. Okay, because it's not global. So I have to make it global. Global means search everywhere. Don't stop. If you find once, don't stop there, but just keep going. So I have to add global. Oh yeah, now I find all of them, but I didn't find one of the love, this one. Do you know why? Anyone? Have you seen the pattern of this? Uh, because there is some difference between this one. Because it's, yes, uppercase. So now I can solve that with different, one different way. One, I can say, for instance, I can use something like this. One way, have you seen? Hey, the L could be lower or upper. Oh yeah, one case. Another, another way, changing this, both global, and case insensitive, oh, not multiple, sorry. Uh, have you seen now? Yeah, so I managed to capture all of them. This, all are captured now, great. Now maybe if we are interested to look more, um, more words, um, for instance, uh, an apple a day, an apple a day, keep the doctor away. But a banana a day, keep the doctor far, far away. It's just my statement, guys. Okay. <laughs> anyway, an apple a day, keep the doctor away, but a banana a day, keep the doctor far, far away, because I love banana than an apple, so I just create my own uh, saying anyway. So now let's look for an apple. I, I can say apple, I found this, but how about if I, apple is great and banana too, yeah? So now I'm, but as you can see, I have this, uh, that it's global, so it doesn't matter if it's lower or upper. And uh, now I am also interested to the bananas. So I can say actually, or an apple or a banana. And if you didn't have banana, is also sweet and nutritious. Nutritious, how do you write it? I don't know. Uh, so now, as you can see, if I didn't have this uh, in case, in sense, uh, case in sense, Steve, now I can say, hey, go for this lower or upper for, and then here also the B, it could be uh, B 
or capital B, it doesn't matter. Now, as you can see, I am I'm capturing all those. Now, these guys are actually word, so just the normal. Now let's move on to targeting numbers. How could get numbers? We have this way of putting a regular expression. And actually I have a cheat sheet over here and we call them this uh, uh, character class and uh, what, well, as you can see this, this way of expression, uh, if I say A, B, C, I am not looking for the string A, B, C. Instead, I'm looking A or B or C, as you can see. Yeah, I am looking for A or B or C. If I say a to C, this means A to C. That means A or B or C. If I say F, A to F, that means either A or B or C or E or D or F. How about if I say A to Z? Oh, that means everything, all the letters, except, except upper cases. Oh yeah, now I can say anything like this. Oh yeah, now as you can see, anything lower or upper, but the spaces were not selected. If I add space now, that means anything. All the English alphabets and space. A space can be also represented like this, like this, slash and S. Okay, and also another short way of writing, actually, we can also write it like this. A to Z, this, not a short way of writing this is the same as this. What is this, the slash? The slash means, hey, this is not W, it's a special character. But this W actually includes underscore also. Yeah. It includes underscore. Uh, yes. But if we are targeting special characters, we can say the opposite. Now we are referring to special characters, as you can see. OK, this special character? Yes, it's a special character, yeah. Yes, these are special characters. Yeah, special characters, inc including a space. But now, if I, now we have here, let me show you, did I tell you that if I say this, all the small letters, and if I say this, including all lowercase and uppercase, if I use, the carrot, this, that means except this. That means now I'm referring special characters. This is exclusion. So we, everything not these guys or these letters, that means special characters as you can see now. So it's working for special characters. And of course, it's working also for numbers, as you can see. But if we want to exclude numbers, zero to nine. Now, as you can see, numbers are excluded also. Yeah, it not, as you can see, it's not found. But these are special characters. I hope you got, are you guys getting what I'm trying to show? Okay, now let's just target numbers. I love numbers. I love numbers. Let's target them. Eight, nine, two, 
21, whatever. Whatever number. How many numbers we have? Eight. As you can see, I have, where's my eight, nine, two. Yes, now let's just focus on numbers. As you can see, zero to nine means all the numbers. Now, sometimes you might be interested in numbers that have one digit, two digit, four digit. For instance, if I am interested, this, I have to say plus. Okay, plus means actually one or more. So all has been selected. So, but this doesn't work. How about this? This means actually, uh, this sign means zero or more times let's see the zero or more times zero or more means it may not be a number or it may exist or uh, more times it's uh now i think the best way to have now home digit i can actually if i am interested in only two digit numbers i can say two if i am interested two and above I can put it like this to end up up. Yeah. I years I was uh, born in uh, 1920. Uh, now it is uh, 2021. As you can see, uh, this, since we have this pattern, any number with two digit or above. So we managed to select this, this, and this. I think we, if you, so if we spin the here, it would be too much. We have to go to the code and we have to use it with Python. Now let's just change this to three digits. Do we have three? Yeah, this, but as you can see, yeah, it's just selecting this. So we have to have this bound, word bound. Yeah, no, exactly three. We need exactly three. We didn't, do we have any, any number here? with three digits? No, we don't have, right? Yeah, we don't have, so it's true. Now let's change this to four and we should get how many? If I change this to four, how many numbers do we have with four digits? Great, <laughs> yes, this one and this one. And how many do we have with one? Yes, I have you seen. And how many do we have with two? Great, have you seen how is it working? So this bound, maybe it might be difficult for you to see. I, some people say break a leg. I do not know the meaning of breaking someone's leg. Crazy. Crazy. Now, as you can see, break, if I'm looking for the word break, uh, let me just, just remove this. Break. Uh, Do I have here yeah, break? We should have. Yeah, as you have seen now, uh, no, I have to, I have to have B. As you can see now, this has been selected and this has been selected, uh, breaking. But you know, this breaking and breaks different. So I want to target this. So to target this, I have to have a word bound. Word bound is, just there should be a word bound that exclude the other. Have you seen? Only this has been selected. So that's the purpose of this uh, bind of uh, this word bound. Hey guys, did you get the word bound? Can you just write one for me? That's how I know. This, this, B. Yeah, great. Now, I think uh, if we need uh, to test this, we will come later. And now let's talk 
about regular expressions, regex. Uh, regex is a regular expression, and let's write regex dot py. Oh yeah, great. And I have very beautiful examples on here. So I will just uh, uh, copy some of the codes over here and do the same. Yes, regular expression. This is how we import. And uh, of course, I will show you how to import like this and so easy. And of course, as we have been learning uh, for so long to know the available methods in some package, you can just print dir and you pass the package name there or the module and you will see the available oh yeah all this list of methods uh, for instance search split purge match enum and most of the time what i use uh, okay let me look at where it is substitute yes and split once in a while find all most of the time and match once in a while the search once in a while so i have also put here the most important as you can see match search find all split and substitute these are very important regular expression methods that may use uh, now and then in whatever field you might be yes now let's start with match but it's very good to read this definition searches only in the beginning of the first line of the string and returns match object if found else return none it's great yes so how do you use it not substring string yes let me show you now let's start maybe i think it's good to copy this part and we don't have to come i mean we don't have to go there now and then and let me just copy paste here and then of course we we'll have to comment this out uh, multiple comment uh, how do i do that yes Okay, now I think there's nothing like the word lab. So, hey, dot match. So, what's the pattern? I can write the pattern outside or inside. I can call the variable name pattern, and my pattern is going to be just lab, or you can add R if you want. It's just a kind of optional. So, this is my pattern. And then I will put it here my pattern, the pattern, and then the string which I'm going to look for. Uh, I am a teacher. I am a teacher. Do you think is there any love here? No, nothing. So now let's see the result. So I can just print this value and to see the result, but it's better to actually store that. As you can see, none. I told you search only uh, i mean search only in the beginning of the first line because it starts with um yeah maybe i can say uh, something is great something and say something is great right and now let, let's search again yeah none because it starts with something how about if i change something to love and if i say Yes, now we got an object, a match object. So that means the first word is actually match with the pattern. So it starts from, as you can see, span, the starting word, I mean, the index, and it ends there. So it's better to just store this match with some, some word. I can call it match. Why not? Because match is not a reserved word by itself. And then actually match, you can also try to there what you get from the match. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't have to remember. And now, as you can see, there are span, start, string. Yeah. Let's see. For instance, if you say match dot string, even the start. What does it start with? 
Yeah, but as you can see, it's a method. Whenever sometimes you use a method as in attribute, it just give you an object. So I have to call it. I have to invoke it like this. Yeah, it's zero. Yeah, the match was found. Yeah, it starts at zero. That's true. And so as you can see, yeah, it's it's this method is not very important that much. And then print match again span. Let's use the span method. What does it give us? If you remember, yeah, the span is actually give you the starting and the end of this. So now, yeah, it gave me this tuple. Yeah. So now you can actually destructure or unpack the starting start start and end from this because this got this usually gives you this one yeah so this will be zero and this will be the end now for instance if i want maybe i have to put this as in a, a string outside somewhere let uh, maybe string, the string is going to be this one, and I call it string. And if I want to, for instance, slice out this part, how do I do? Actually, I can say uh, string the dot slice, what's the beginning? The start. I don't want from the start instead, and, and then something like this. Okay, let's see, print. But I'm afraid I'm including one of is great. Uh, because why is great? So I would, yeah, because it's four, right? Zero, one, two, three, four. Did we have space in here? But let me just zero, one. Yes, that's true because it doesn't include this. The uh, when we are getting it goes from zero to four, but it doesn't include the last. So that's why we managed to uh, just have that uh, possibility. Yeah, but in this case, maybe now. Yeah, it's, it starts from the space. Of course, if we add also class one, actually, it give us also the same value is great. Yeah, we have removed one of the space. Uh, I mean, this space. Yeah, so as you can see, um, you may use it to solve some problem and you can check if some pattern, if exists or if it doesn't. And actually it works only if your pattern is at the very beginning of the string. That's the only purpose of this. Now let's talk about this search. And you have to really understand what this says. Returns a match object if there is one anywhere in the string, including multi-line strings. Yeah, this one allow us to look for in the multi-line. So I don't have to uh, look for, uh, yeah, maybe I think uh, because uh, this one, something I didn't show you. How about if this was a uh, capital L? Do you think we will find it? No. No object has an attribute start because as you can see, yeah, and something you should really look or care because the, the return for a match is actually it's an object or a none. Now here I'm going, I'm getting none. Okay. Yeah, none. So to do all this operation, if match exists, do this. Not mad. Yeah, so 
as you can see, match is none uh, because lab. So we can do different. For instance, can we do a G here, a global? No, I, we don't do this like that, but this has got actually like this. Uh, we can do uh, uh, we can do this uh, case insensitive I, as you can see. So now I can target like that. Yes, I'm actually targeting it. That's what uh, I have seen here in the example. So we can use this regular expression dot I means we are adding this the, the way we've been using it case insensitive when we are writing Python. So now let's move on to the search. I think I have more text over here. Uh, and we do the same example. And now, um, and but it's also good, again, returns a match object the same. If there is one anywhere, if it's in the beginning or in the middle, or it doesn't matter anywhere, but it has also some problem, this one. Once, if, if it founds, it doesn't go further. How many Python word do I have in this text? How many Python do I have? Please tell me. Two, and let's look for one of, I mean, let's look for the Python. Uh, maybe I can also just for, for you, for the time being, let's just change this to capital and then let's avoid the difference. Just for now, then you have to say regular expression, search, and then your pattern. You can write your pattern outside or inside. Now let's, for the time being, let's just call it uh, Python is our, and then from whom? I mean, from the text we're looking for from this text. Yeah, now let's print. I call this again match because the match, yeah, because what we found, we call it match, it matched. So print match. Now I'm expecting a match object, okay? Again, yeah, as you can see, a match object, and it was from, uh, from the zero, from the, this index up to here, and it's six, that's good. But how about if I don't have anyone, and, and, and I can change this to JavaScript, yes. and if I change this JavaScript, now let's see. Oh yeah, now still I have a match. How comes, guys, tell me. Of course, because I have another Python here. And P is at the 90s index and N is the 96 index, or maybe I think not, this space is the 96 index, yeah? So it just look for the first match. It doesn't go to the second, yeah? The purpose of this is it works like match, but it go through all the text. And when it gets the first match, it stops. Is it clear? If it's clear, type one for me. Okay, great. Now you can write this, uh, I, as you have seen that I was looking, I was changing like this. Uh, so it was like Python. Now, but let's make this a lower case. And how do I can, I can look for both for lower and uh, upper like this also one way, or I don't have to just, I can just use this lower case here and then I can just lower or uppercase, it doesn't matter over there. And then you can just uh, look for, hey, it doesn't matter if it's lower or upper, yeah? I or ignore case, it's possible either this or this. Okay, this is much better for me. Okay, now let's move on to the most beautiful, the most beautiful part that is, I mean, method that is find all, return a list containing all attributes. Oh yeah. Now let's apply again. Yes, regular expression, re.find all, 
and then you write a hey. then it could be lower p or p and then all and then what python and then from this text as you can see now let's print this As you can see, it says that it returns a list containing all the maps. So I am expecting actually two Python from this. And now let's print this out and see the result. Why we are this? Yeah, as you can see, oh yeah, so we found it. But how about if this was actually uh, JavaScript, then what do you think the result will be? Yes, empty list. Empty list. So now let's just undo this and maybe let's add also some information. JavaScript is also a great language is also a great language. Learn JavaScript and make all websites more interactive, interactive than ever before. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, great, yes. Now, maybe my plan is going to look for both the Python and like the JavaScript. So I can say J or upper, and then you can say a Java. And then as you can see, this S is actually capital. And then I can say again here, uh, uh, upper case, yeah? That's all that I have seen in JavaScript. Now let's try. Have you seen Python, Python, JavaScript, and JavaScript? So it's powerful, right? Yes. Now we managed to cover this part. Split takes a string and split it at the match point and return a list, yeah. It just uh, split it at some point, and at some point. For instance, if I ask this to split, uh, okay, let me show you, dot split, and then you have to pass the regular expression. Of course, you can just pass dot, dot could be a regular expression here. And if you pass and take it, where do you think it will be split? It will be split here, and it will be split here, and here. So I am expecting one, two, three, four, maybe five items in the list. Let's see. What? So what do we do? Oh, yes, the problem is, let's see, let's read the split. I made a mistake. Yep. Uh -huh. The reason why this dot means in uh, any character, yeah? This dot means any character, so that is us. I will show you in the cheat, uh, in the cheat sheet. Dot means any character except new line. So that's why we didn't get what we want. So it would be much better if we exclude this. So we can exclude it actually uh, by doing this. So if I do this, I would say that uh, it's not anymore a dot, but it's like, I mean, it's not anymore the special character now, it's just a dot. Yeah, have you seen? Now I, we managed to uh, cut it here. 
And as you can see here, and here up to, so how many? One, two, uh, three, and four. Yes, that means one, two, up to where? Up to here, three, and then four. Great. Uh, so you can, but did you get how I use this one, the dot, like to, if I don't just, this means, like this means any character, but if I use the slash, the backspace, that means it's, this is not anymore uh, any character instead now, this is acting as a dot or a punctuation mark, a full stop. Okay, maybe let's just break this text uh, somewhere, uh, Python. So you can create that Python or JavaScript, but maybe I think it's better if we create, I mean, split it at Python. So it will be split here uh, at two places. Now let me show you. As you can see, yeah, this, uh, then Python, this part. So actually you just remove that part and then at that part you just create different items uh, sometimes you use this method and now let's go to substitute really you need to substitute quite often at least i use it quite often so i will show you the importance uh replace or substituting i think i have a very good uh, example somewhere yeah, maybe also we can use the here. Uh, instead of Python, but let's just change everything to JavaScript. Yeah, I can say regular expression substitute R. And if we say anything uh, Python and uh, and I think sometimes I forget for where to substitute. Uh, yeah, the substitute comes here and then the text and then the flag, yes. I can substitute with JavaScript and then I don't care if it is lowercase or uppercase. Yeah, so this will create actually we are substituting everything using JavaScript. And it doesn't mutate. We are creating a new uh, string, okay? We can't mutate string. What, except string or bytes, what? What happened is line number 29, what happened, uh, substitute, uh, Oh yeah, I forgot to pass this, the text, yeah, text. Now, yeah, we have to get that. Oh yeah, as you can see, JavaScript is the most beautiful language that a human being ever created. I recommend JavaScript for first programming language, JavaScript also, yeah, where, whatever. And it, everything is now JavaScript. But as you can see, we have Python, Python. So yes, and uh, maybe, yeah, you can just, maybe we can do this example. Uh, can you read this? Uh, if, okay, can you read this? Tell me if you managed to read this. It's hard, right? Yeah, but this is so easy. Now let's copy this and uh, make it so, uh, now let's clean this text as you can see. And let's read what does it say. And uh, I think if you want to, you have to remove these guys, right? Is it hard to remove? No, you can say even text. You don't have to even read less. And all the percentage, all the percentage sign with nothing, with just nothing. How about this? Does it work? Let's try why we go regular expression. Yeah, it works. So easy. 
why we need a regular expression. But the point is, how about this text actually? Let's just mess up this text more. And, and, and then, and, and then of course, and then of course, and then of course, and then of course, whatever. What do you think now? It's now more challenging, right? Because you have different symbols and maybe you can also use just whatever. Even you can use some. Now we should use regular expression because it's the pattern. If you remember this, uh, when we learn, if you write A to Z, if you write A to Z, all the letters, all the small letters, how about this? That means both upper and lower case. Yeah. But if we write, and then this space, and if we say this, that means everything except special ca characters oh yeah so this is very good so we can write that okay instead now we can write a regular expression substitute and then we can say a to z no negation or maybe exception a to z uppercase or lowercase and then space uh yeah and then, of course, this the plus means one or more. And then let's uh, and let's substitute with nothing. We don't just from what from text. Yeah, this is uh, what I want. And let's see what we get from this. And print again. Oh, print. What is this? Nice. Oh, print. Oh, yeah, I think this is clean, as you can see, because we managed to. Oh, uh, but this is also another way to write this. Actually, we can use also this means the same as. The same as this. Let's try. Oh yeah, but the problem, we have to have space. Let's add space. Oh, we couldn't manage to get that actually. It's a, a kind of, uh, so, um, it's a bit tough to get it, but there would be a way to, but let's just stick into this one and we got the solution. Yeah, I think this is an E like, now, what I would like to share with you related to uh, regular expression. So what can you use this? Uh, maybe if you want to challenge yourself, you can go to 30 days of Python and inside the data, we have different takers. For instance, uh, we have this Michelle Obama, Melina Trump and uh, uh, Obama speech or Donald Trump speech and you can do text analysis. First, you can clean the text and then you can uh, just come up with how many words they use, the most frequent word. And if there is a similarity between maybe Melina's and Michelle Obama's speech, because they, um, by the time when they gave the speech, some, I mean, the medias were saying that there's some kind of plagiarism. So you may even, try to check if there is a plagiarism or not. Uh, but I'm just giving you a uh, yes. What do you think, guys? Did you get some insight, this regular expression? Do you have any question? Oh. 
Okay, let me check. Uh, okay, Sammy, does it give more insight this neuroblarx today's lesson? Yeah, so it's it's the way like pattern, you just inject the pattern and uh, yeah, as I told you, there is also a cheat sheet here. You may go through or here and remember, try to uh, make yourself uh, comfortable by experimenting or testing on this site. Uh, thanks for the person who just uh, developed this. It's good, it's good. And then I can share with you, here you have and I can stop the, maybe I can pause it.